So what's up guys and welcome to Ewers Fly Workshop today. I'm gonna go into the deeper end of the pool. It's actually a fly type by a request by an Icelandic guy called Fannar. But we are going to tie this uh, green highlander pattern. It's a salmon pattern that is, uh, yeah, I think every fly tire and fly fisher have at least heard about it. Uh, we are using a uh, simple fly nano silk 30 denier for this. And uh, the main reason I'm using that thin thread that is just to prevent busy head and, and all that. It can follow to use like a thick bulky thread on the shank. Uh, the uh, hook we are using, that's a progressive double from Arex, uh, number eight. And uh, this is uh, actually the first take on my on my Highlander. The uh, tack of the fly that is uh, made out of uh, oval uh, tinsel, uh, sample fly in silver. I'm gonna zoom in here a bit so you can see how we do the tack, but. This is my first take on the fa on a feathering Highlander, like a green Highlander with feathering, and you will see how we get along by trying to marry the feathers together. They are kind of, you know, you'll see about that. Uh, we take like in between five and six uh, wraps of the tinsel here to create the uh, tag and then we are going to take the tinsel in between the double hook and bring it forward and catch it with our thread like we are doing and and you could yeah secure it about to the middle of the hook shank and uh, since this tie since i'm tying this fly by a request uh, the icelandic version of it it's uh, of the video is a little bit different because uh, that I'm telling the full story about why he asked for it, but I'm gonna tell you like a brief uh, version of it. Uh, for the tail of the fly, we are using a golden fashioned crest from the very top of the uh, very top of the bird's uh, of the bird's uh, hat. But uh, before we put in the tail, we have to put a butt on the fly and that is a yellow gloss just actually the same color that we used like in the uh, body of the fly and just bring that so so you can see where we are placing the end of the butt of the fly that is about where the hook points of the hook are based and yeah shout out to Fanner for the support to the channel he supported the channel and uh, Kind of challenged me to go ahead and <laughs> do the do the Green Highlander for him, uh, but uh, we'll tie in the uh, Golden Pheasant Crest here, and I'm going to tell you the story now, just why he asked for it. It's um, um, because of a friend of uh, Fanar. He passed in 2020, way way before his age, young man. And that guy, a friend of Fannar, who uh, he was a biologist and made uh, research on salmon and, and the spawning of uh, salmon in Laxo and Aaldalur in the north of Iceland. And that guy, the biologist guy, he Green Highlander was his uh, favorite uh, pattern. So therefore we are tying this uh, pattern here and Fannar requested the pattern, so we'll do our best to fulfill his wishes on that. And uh, we brought in the uh, rib of the fly, which is the uh, oval silver tinsel, just like the tag with the same, with the same tinsel. And now we are preparing the body of the fly. That is, a, like as you see, like a yellow colored floss. We tie that in and bring the thread to yeah a little bit behind the middle of the hook shank and create the first part of the body. Uh, 
and place it like so. And Hiller in Lavar, that is an Icelandic podcast that. And uh, yeah, Ben and Jonsson is a biologist as well. He speaks about the research that uh, this guy with this video is about the mate. Uh, but unfortunately, the podcast is only in Icelandic. They are not putting anywhere near the same effort in into making that that channel like a, a viral to go global more than in Iceland. So uh, that is basically the reason. Uh, and there is like a like a link to the to the research in the in the descriptions of the of the video, but it's in Icelandic as I said, so it's not gonna help you anything. Yeah, now we made some mistakes. We have to fast forward back a little bit. That happens, and I I, I didn't want to cut those mistakes out. It's okay. We're back on track here. Uh, what we forgot to put in is, of course, the ostrich. The uh, ostrich, uh, black ostrich, to make the back color of the fly. And to pluck that, just uh, pluck out of it just the first fibers and turn it in about 45 degrees angle when we tie it in. And we do like it's like a couple of wraps with it, a couple of wraps, maybe two, three wraps. That's all you need to create this beautiful hackle here on the back. And this is like a not like a trademark, but uh, this is pretty common in those older patterns, the old salmon patterns, the uh, English and the Scots one, especially the Scots one, the fancy, very fancy patterns like uh, Silver Doctor and. And all those, I don't know, remember the name of them all. They have this um, this ostrich, ostrich uh, hackle on them. So now we can tie in the body material without being worried about making any more mistakes. But it happens. Usually if I'm doing a fly like this and make mistake, I, I can cut them out while I'm editing the video. But it all depends, you know. It's uh, it all depends on the yeah what mood we are in and the purpose of the video of course and stuff. Um, yeah, remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and you can join Fanar and support the channel if you like. He's buying this fly actually for pretty good price just to support the channel. So it's already been shipped, and this video will be uh, published on air and. Uh, Shared on the on YouTube and social media, uh, Fanal will probably have his fly, have this fly in his hands. I hope so. But we bring the body material forward, and that is a green DMC we are using. We can use a green floss as well. I like to use a DMC three strands of it simply because um, it's make the front body like a little bit thicker than the yellow after part. Or the rear part of the body, and then we lock in the uh, DMC. And this DMC stuff you can get like in any kind of anywhere. It's like I like this material a lot, and it's used quite a bit in the, quite a lot in Icelandic cloth tying, and especially the uh, especially when we are tying tying uh, tying uh, flies for the trout. And it works great, and you can get it in so many colors and. It's like really helpful, helpful material to make good patterns out of them. It's like an alternative material. And we've done the rip uh, around the fly, uh, around the body of the fly. And the uh, next step in the Green Highlander fly will be the, uh, the throat or the beard of the fly. And I'm using a yellow cock feather for this. Actually, it's not that too long fibers, but it depends, you know, if you want the want, want the throat want the throat to go all the way into the cape of the hook or or only to the hook point. That's kind of like an optional 
optional stuff and even shorter it just you know it's all up to you there is no not necessarily any like um, any like a holy formula for that but uh, often you get them to align with align with the point of the hook that is what I learned when I when I was learning to tie those um, salmon patterns and to get the uh, tag ends of the fly you can take a razor blade and just showing it to you of course not for beginners to be playing with the razor blade but um, you can try to trim off this part like that and um, it's either the razor blade or just put it up with your with your fingernail and go with your scissors as close as possible but you will need like a really thin point scissors for that and those scissors I'm using, this is like, um, yeah, they're very worn out. And, um, yeah, considering what kind of scissors I should buy, I'll probably go for, you know, Dr. Slick again. I had one for over 10 years until I dropped them. And, and uh, this is like my spare scissors, kind of. I don't know how many pairs of scissors I have, even. Uh, it's probably over 10. Here's a wing. Goose shoulder wing. And uh, yeah, semi -mar married <laughs> fathers. There's been a divorce there. Um, it's in orange, yellow, red, green, and brown. That is the the um, colors that I prefer to use in the wing. That's all the colors that are supposed to be there. And I'm not uh, putting any duck feathers or, or or turkey or anything like that. It's not that fancy of a fly but this is as close as i could get to marry the feathers i'm not a pastor or a priest or anything and therefore the feathers behaved like this uh, it has been like a kind of like a semi-divorce you can see I, I tried marrying them and i know how to marry feathers but it's like taking a long time uh, to attach this size of a wing here i'm doing a pinch wrap so i'm Pinching the thread between my fingers and take one round and then we pull it when, we, when it's facing upwards. So as you see, it's not like a perfect wing, not at all, but uh, I've showed Fannar already uh, pictures of the fly and he was delighted with it. So, so uh, we will just let this slide. Uh, after the pinch wrap, we secure the wing with very tight wraps. Uh, you can use either the razor blade or the uh, scissors to cut it as close as possible. We'll go for it with the uh, scissors. And uh, you can start with the scissors and try to cut away as much of the remains as you can. But it also depends on the hook guy. If it's like if, if there is like a lot of bent on the hook guy, uh, then the uh, razor blade can come in very handy. It all depends on yeah. And and with the razor blade, the idea is of course to try not to get too bulky head. But that is maybe more for like a, when you're tying this fly on a uh, one o hook, like a hu huge. You know, everything is huge. This is how I'm using the razor blade. That's just to, of course, not cut the thread, but just get it on the corner of the razor blade to chop away as much of this feathers. It usually gets like a dust when you do this, but you can get some of them away like this and start to form and build up the head of the fly. And that's what we are going to do now. And it's been I learned when when I was learning to tie flies by by both Leon Sigurdsson and, and Mr. Perez, and both of them taught me how to marry feathers, how to marry them together and uh, let them stay for that. I tried. It's been like you know I'm a busy man working as a lawyer, you know. <laughs> I work uh, for an attorney in Reykjavik, so it's like my uh, 
my time to make the videos all the time it's kind of limited these days and and i'm going to Reykjavik this week um, for you yeah, meet up with the attorney and and stuff like that so uh, it's like a limited time that i have to make the videos but we'll try our best uh, we're done with finishing and uh, it looks pretty fine from my pre point of view, this is like, yeah, pretty good Highlander since I, it's like the first one I tie with the feather wing ever. I always tied it with, uh, with a hair wing, which is obviously way easier than to uh, do it with a feather wing version. But to apply like a head cement on it or this uh, UV super glue. Not UV super glue, sorry, this UV resin, it's an ultra thin resin called Solaris Bone Cure. And I'm kind of here yeah, satisfied with the fly. If you look at it, it has all the colors. The combination on the wing is like close to be correct. And uh, some would say like shorter wing, it just depends on the request of the fly. Fana asked me for, to tie it with so, so, something like this, so that's why we're doing it like this. Uh, yeah, this is the Green Highlander in the feather wing version, the first one I've tied ever. I'm gonna sap it with the light here, cook the UV resin. I just want to say to you guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.